Hello, welcome to my channel, I'm All Things Wrestling, and today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on WWE Raw 8th of May 2017, the London edition of Monday Night Raw. Uh, we kick off the show with Dean Ambrose getting a call from Kurt Angle, who couldn't make the show tonight. Ambrose asked if Angle got the pictures he sent him, Angle said his wife opened them. Ambrose got permission to be acting general manager of Raw tonight. Ambrose was... About to tell Angle about a great name for the next Royal pay-per-view he came up with, but he lost connection to Angle's phone. I think I have an idea what his pay-per-view name would have been. Maybe it would have been Great Balls of Fire? I don't know how they're going to play that on TV. God bloody knows. Ambrose then went to the ring and said, Tonight is about action and not talk. Instantly interrupted by the Miz Maurice. <laughs> I love that bit. Uh, Miz says Royal is going to be total chaos tonight with Ambrose in charge. Miz said he received a phone call from Stephanie McMahon, which got a delete chance, who heard about Angle's plan. She was worried that this would be the final episode of Raw, so she assigned co-acting general manager Miz. Uh, Ambrose said extreme rules, he's going to put a beating on Miz and he's going to walk away intercontinental champion. Miz bragged about beating Finn Balor and Seth Rollins last week. <coughs> Ambrose extends his help for the Miz, earning number one contendership. Before Miz could shake hands, Braun Strowman returned with the left arm in a sling. Still selling the beam from Roman Reigns at payback. He got a thank you Strowman chant. Strowman said he didn't care who was in charge. He's going to get what he wants. He claims to take out take, claimed to take out the big dog at payback. But as long as Reigns can walk, he isn't finished with Reigns. Strowman told Ambrose and Miz to call Stephanie and tell her that when his arm is healed, he's going to finish Reigns. And when he's done with Reigns, he's coming for Brock Lesnar. Kalisto came out <laughs> to a flat reaction. Haha. <laughs> this isn't. He isn't done with Strowman and talks about the beating Strowman in a dumpster match. Strowman smiled and said, There was a piped in noise. Kalisto said, No one treats him like garbage and screamed at Ambrose to give him a match tonight. Strowman said, Kalisto beat him on technicality and he can crush. Kalisto like a beer can, he said. He could beat Kalisto with one arm. Ambrose <laughs> arranged the Kalisto Strowman match for tonight. Strowman objected, saying he was injured. Stro uh, Ambrose said Strowman said he could beat Kalisto with one arm, so tonight he could prove it. I love that bit, it was so funny. Uh, Miz versus Bala. Oh, sorry. Uh, Miz said Ambrose just ended Kalisto's coin, said, What's next? Electrified ring ropes. Jack and Coke on a pole match instead Ambrose ordered Miz versus Finn Balor. I would have actually watched an electrified rope match that would have been entertaining. Uh, Miz distracted the referee and threw Balor into the ref who ha had his back to Miz grabbed a microphone and ordered the referee to disqualify Balor because you don't put your hands on a referee. Referee called for the ball. and Miz announced himself as winner. He and Maurice started walking up, but Ambrose came out, ordered the match to start again. Maurice was banned from ringside. Bala hit the sling bay, dropped in the coup de grace for the pin. Very nice, very nice. Finn Bala got a bit of a retribution, which was really, really nice. It was a solidly good match as well. So, fair point, I like that. Pretty, really good. Then Alexa Bliss bumped into Nia Jax backstage. Jax said, uh, during Bliss's coronation that week, Bliss ran down every woman except her. Bliss tried to talk her way out of it, but Jack said if Bliss really thought she was great. Bliss said yes. Jack said uh, she should get a title shot when Bliss is done with Bailey. Bliss said Angle is the one who arranged the match, she's not her. Jack says until then, it looks like Bliss got herself a new best friend. Bliss said it looks like she has, and then she did a really weird, evil smile. I like that, but the smile sold it for me, thinking, oh fuck. Oh wait, I can use this to my advantage. <laughs> That's kind of what it was. It was really good. And they're going to be best friends. I like that. <laughs> I think this is going to be a funny little storyline to follow. Uh, then we have Alexa Bliss, Mickey James. Jax joined Bailey at Bliss at ringside. Bailey joined Mi Mickey at ringside. We got the Hey, hey Bailey. Ooh, I, I want to know. Will you be my girl? Chant. Sorry, I had to do that. It's so bloody fun. It happens every time I actually happened at Raw. God, London was a good crowd. Um, Bailey jumped on Jax with a cross body off the stairs. Bliss tripped Mi Mickey James off the top rope to pin her. Fairly alright match. Uh, afterwards, Bailey chased Bliss to the back. In the ring, Jax, upset about being embarrassed by Bailey, got 
Dave James a running splash in the corner and an elbow drop. Fair point. It's looking pretty good. It looks like Jax, Mickey James will probably be the next feud for that. So I'm all right with that. And then Miz was mad at Ambrose backstage about restarting his match. Ambrose talked about production coordination about a run a rundown of the show. Miz claimed he had a missed TV segment scheduled with a member of One Direction. <laughs> yeah, like any of us actually would have wanted to see that. Ambrose told him to cancel it. Dean said he wanted more action. Miz ordered Ambrose to face Bray Wyatt tonight. Fair point, I like that. And then Charlie Caruso, uh, shit interviewer number two, I think. She's not as bad. I'll, I'll, I'll call her Charlie Caruso for now, but Dasha, fucking she's staying shit interview number one. Uh, so Mojo started, uh, she asked him about costing Rollins the match last week. Joe said Rollins lives his life on Joe's term and their feud isn't over until he says it is. Joe says Rollins put here every knee joint pop because Rollins' life is about to get very loud. Rollins came in for a ball, uh, got quite vicious I did enjoy that and then the usual pull apart crew Fit Finley, Jamie Noble, Chris Hero came out to break it up. It was good, I enjoyed it. Then we had Kalisto versus Braun Strowman. Strowman grabbed the mic and said Ambrose was supposed to be co GM tonight, but as far as he's concerned he can shove it. Strowman said he isn't accepting the match because Reigns won't face him from man to man. The bell rang, Strowman's ruled Kalisto with a big boot. Within thirty seconds Reigns came out to a thunderous amount of boos. Uh, he had an entire chest taped. Had a stare down with Strowman, got in the ring, took three Superman punches to knock Strowman down, sent him out of the ring. Uh, went Reigns went for a drive-by, but Strowman gave him a big boot across the chest. Kalisto vanished. Strowman charged at Reigns, but went into the post. Reigns rammed Strowman's sh- left shoulder into the post repeatedly. Crowd had dueling chants. Easily the loudest chants as well, Rain slammed a chair across Strowman's shoulder three times and then Strowman retreated into the crowd. Great angle, great, great beatdown. I enjoyed it. But the only problem is it's a beatdown because Strowman's actually legitimately injured. He's off TV for probably about a month, which is why this beatdown happened. So please start a t- hashtag, hashtag st- save Strowman. Hashtag heel Strowman, whatever you want. Oh, and then Goldust and R Truth are talking about stage. Goldust says he's enjoyed team win with R Truth this year and probably last year because it's only been like five months. And you haven't done anything this year. But Angle, what Angle said about their win loss record last week hurt him. Goldust said they've been champions before but never champions together. Goldust said they know what they. <sighs> <sighs> Goldust said he knows what he can do and he knows what R-Truth can do. Like, let's go prove what they can do together. Goldust asked Truth if he's with him and he said, let's go shock the world. He talk, R-Truth talked too much for my liking in this segment, but all good and on the same. And then we had the tag team turmoil match. Uh, and um, Cesaro and Sheamus and Enzo and Cass kick off the tournament. Enzo and Cass did some like, one-liners like they normally do. I can't remember what they were, but like, O2 and stuff like that it was alright, <laughs> usual end zone cast stuff uh, Amore was about to make a hot tab but Seamus pulled Cass off the apron and threw him into the post Cesaro put Amore into the sharpshooter leading to end zone to ca- tapping uh, they were eliminated he- Heathlet and Rhino were out next Cesaro and Seamus threw Rhino into the ring steps Seamus threw Slay into the crowd, worked over him as well. Slay gave Cesaro a leg lariat and went for a tag, but Rhino was still injured from the ring steps to make his way to the corner. Seamus pinned Slater with a bro kick, without Rhino even getting in the ring. That was good. And then Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows were out next. Uh, they went for the magic killer on Seamus, but Cesaro ran in to break it up. Seamus pinned Gallows with a bro kick. And then your final team, the Golden... Uh, they ran out as a final team. Uh, as always, James as a heels were exhausted team trying to triumph against the odds of winning a four and a four matches in half an hour facing comedy babyfaces. Cesaro James pulled pounded 
on Goldust left, nearly into Cesaro using the sharpshooter. Truth made the save, got a hot tag. Truth hit a gold buster and a large detector, but Cesaro kicked out of Truth's finisher. Truth missed a charge in the corner. Cesaro pinned him with a scoreboard cradle while holding the trunks. I like that. They ended in a very heelish way. That's a very good way to do it. Post match, Sheamus gave Goldust a bro kick and put the boots of Truth as the crowd chanted for Hardy's. Matt and Jeff ran down and Cesaro and Sheamus bailed. I knew they were going to win. They went the whole distance, which is good. It makes them look like massive heel bit heels. I like it. Good job there. That was all good. Then we go to Seth Rollins versus Samoa Joe. Rollins accidentally pulled the top turnbuckle off, trying to get away after kicking out of a sunset flip. Joe whipped Rollins into the exposure where the turnbuckles turned off. The referee tried to replace the turnbuckle. Joe grabbed it and threw it into the crowd. Despite the referee's warning, Joe threw Rollins into the exposed team to expose steel for the win. The DQ, sorry, not the win. Joe did it again, then put Rollins into the Kikina clutch. Rollins was unconscious and, told, and Joe told Rollins, "It's over when I say it's over." It was great, absolutely fantastic. Can't wait to see it. And then we find out next week it's going to be Ambrose Miz for the Intercontinental Championship. Who is going to face Dean Ambrose at Extreme Rules then? Please let it be Finn Balor. That will be great. Uh, and then Neville and TJP had an angle on Facebook earlier in the day. Neville told TJP to beat Jack Gallagher today and he would give him a WWE Cruiserweight Championship match. He did so in the way that you make it think he was going to screw TJ Perkins over. Neville came out for commentary. Uh, and then we go to the actual match. Oh, uh, they had the TJP jumping off scenarios last week and leaving him laying at an ankle lock. Michael Cole asked Neville if he put TJP up to it, which he denied. Uh, Gallagher escaped an O'Connor roll. TJ Perkins reversed it, holding the trunks for the pin. Uh, when pressed by Cole, Neville denied his problem with, promised TJP a title shot. Post match, TJP shot blocked Gallagher, put him into an ankle lock. Neville laughed about how TJP is now learning. Aries came out from the crowd to send TJP packing after a series of firearms. Uh, it's all good angle. Good match. Good angle. I've enjoyed it, to be fair. I can't wait to see where they go next. Uh, then we have Sasha Banks versus Alicia Fox. Sasha Banks won with double knees off the second rope. Uh, Corey Graves made a big deal of how Alicia Fox's shoulder was up before the three count. They had replay showing the referee clearly blew the call. It was likely they were building to a rematch next week because everybody wants to see that. Everybody. Uh, and then we go to our main event of the evening. Bray Wyatt versus Dean Ambrose. Miss was obviously at ringside. Miss picked up Ambrose Intercontinental Championship match and started parading around with it. Ambrose dove out the ring with a dive on Miz, I think. Ambrose after Ambrose threw Wyatt into the ring, I assume the referee checked on him. Miz leveled Ambrose with the Intercontinental Championship belt. Wyatt covered Ambrose, kicked out. Wyatt hit his trap again for the pin. Solid, solid, decent match. First match, Miz punched Ambrose several times and told Ambrose he would be the Intercontinental Champion again. And in the end, everyone would look to Miz and just simply say, Awesome! And that was Monday Night Raw from a tape delay in England because they couldn't have put it on any bloody earlier than 1 o'clock in the morning, could you, you bloody bastards? Seriously, you could have edited it at 11 or 12. You could have done it just half a lot earlier. I know you have your own time slot, but come on. Come on. I could have got through it all if it wasn't so bloody late. Anyway, that's irrelevant. I do hope you've enjoyed this. I'm kind of glad I waited to do it because... I would have given you such a half assed effort last night because I was that bloody tired. If you watch the live reactions, I slept through pretty much the last hour of Raw. Solid, pretty much nearly solidly slept through the last hour of Raw because I was just that damn tired. But anyway, that's irrelevant. They were my thoughts on Raw. It was genuinely a really good Raw. It is a core. Please give it your own ratings. You've got in all. Core, average, poor, or poor. Does it get poor or poor last? 
Uh, probably poor boys, probably second. They are Ollie Davis's ratings. <laughs> Thank you for letting me steal them a little bit there, mate. I'm not really going to steal his ratings. I just like to give a rating from him onto the show on my own. But anyway, I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please give it a like. Please support me on Patreon. Link in the description below. Subscribe to see more content. And I'll catch you later.